Good evening and welcome to Chemnitz, Germany. It is semi-final action here as the Niners taking on Bilbao Baskets. It is the second of two semifinals, and the last one was played last week with Bilbao falling at home to the Niners, 73 to 98. For those of you just following for the first time, it is a home and away game, the semifinals of the FIBA Euro Cup. So the Niners heading into this game at home with a very comfortable lead. Bill Bow, they have a lot that they're going to need to do. And there you saw the road to the finals. Niners looking comfortable. They just can't lose by a big margin. And on the other end, we have Verasti taking on the Fahese here. And that was a close game. In their first semifinal, there was a one-point game. There you see it. And that game going on right now as well as our game. Niners taking on Bilbao Basket coming up shortly. Bilbao, this is an experienced team if you look at their roster and you know you expect maybe some bigger performances um, from certain players if they want to try and cause an upset. Uh, Bilbao, obviously they finished 6-0 in their group and made it this far through the quarterfinals. As the Niners also, they went 6-0. and And those are some last game stats for you. And, and no, sorry, those are stats of the year. As you see the Niners, they are first in points per game second in rebounds and first in assists throughout this FIBA Euro Cup competition where Bilbao, they're 11th in points per game, 4th in rebounds, and ninth in assists. The Niners, they have not lost a game at this FIBA Euro Cup competition since January 24th, and that was their only loss in the group phase compared to Bilbao, who are 12 and 13. So they don't have a lot of losses, but they have one very significant one, and that was the one last week where they fell 73 to 98. They were up 14 points at one point, and really it was all Bilbao basket about two and a, two and a half quarters in that game, almost three quarters. So really need to figure out how to put a consistent 40-minute game together if Bilbao wants to give themselves a hope of moving on in this competition. Niners control the spade, speed, control the tempo, and you can't imagine them not moving on. And what a story the Niners is. You know, four years ago, this team were promoted to the first division in the German BBL League, the basketball league in Germany. And since then, they've had a continuous rise as a club team in Germany. They're currently second in the BBL, where Bilbao, unfortunately, they are four games out of a playoff spot. So maybe not the kind of season that they predicted when they put this team together. And you can imagine the experience of head coach of Bilbao, Yaume Ponasorano. He can't be too, too happy with maybe how his team has performed. But guess what? They've got some very, very talented players. Kilea Jones, hailing from England. He's been a consistent force for them all year long. Kulame, I thought, had a great game last week. And Hornsby, he can always turn it on and do something exciting. And they're going to need some big performances. And let's not forget the big man from Iceland, Hilnesson. He had 12 points, I believe it was, the other night. He's going to have to have another big, big game for them if they want to try and move on in this competition. As we saw, the team there from Bilbao Basket were presented, and now the home team. First, the mascot. Let's not forget the mascot, trying to get the crowd all riled up. And this is a run-and-gun team. They're under control, but they push the tempo. And it all starts on the defensive end, but boy, are they unselfish offensively. They have five players who average double digits throughout the FIBA Euro Cup campaign this year. Kind of 
unheard of. It's just an unselfish team. Everyone can score when they are open, but they also like to create for each other. And it has definitely paid off dividends, and that's why we're seeing them play in the semifinals. And they have a very, very good chance of moving on if they can just control this game for 40 minutes. of the Niners and nice little video presentation there here in Germany as you see the players coming out now They also have some big Canadian talent, USA talent. Let's not forget Kenya. They have a Kenyan international and in Onigwe on their team. I think Kevin Yebo for Germany, uh, the German player, excuse me, number 53, will get to see some big minutes out of him, I believe. He has to be a candidate, at least for MVP of the BBL in Germany. And I mentioned that this team, not only doing well at the Euro Cup, but they've also had an excellent, excellent season in the German League. Second only behind EuroLeague team, Bayern. this year also in the Spanish ACB as we see the referees for tonight Darius Zapolski from Poland Radimir Oyanovic from Montenegro and Josip uh, Jurasevic from Croatia will be calling tonight's game and some last little warm-ups by both these teams Bilbao they dug themselves a hole and if you went back and watched that game, if you watched the first quarter, you would have thought that Bilbao would have pulled away with a comfortable lead, especially at home. And starting lineup, Smith, Pantsar, Rapaseda, Riaz, and Hilmason. Um, so a little bit of a different starting lineup than they went with last game. And not sure if that is punishment or motivation for Bilbao. As we'll see the starting lineup for the Niners. Well, Lansdowne, Lockhart, Uguak, Garrett, and Krubali getting the start. So that's the typical starting lineup that they have gone with all season long. And I believe, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that is also who they started with uh, last week and they had a slow start down 14 early in the game but they pulled it up went to the bench some big bench performances I thought Kajami Keen was excellent five points five assists coming off the bench what about Yebo coming off the bench for the Niners 17 points Bill Bao didn't have an answer they sent him to the free throw line 11 times as he knocked down nine free throws just from there. So nine of his points came from the free throw line. 
and really different lineup for Bilbao. So, like I said, I'm not sure if that is Coach uh, Ponesarno sort of punishing his starters or, you know, wants to give other people an opportunity near the end of the season. And maybe if they step up and get a good start, it will bode well for them as this season over here in Spain, Germany, Europe are all starting to wind down. Well, some last minute instructions there from the coaches as FIBA EuroCup Player of the Month. Look at that. 15.3 points, 10.3 rebounds. He has been a double-double machine in the month of March. Obviously, Rodrigo Pastore hailing from Argentina. Maybe flies a little bit on the radar in Argentina as a coach, but he is very well respected here in Germany. And Yaume Ponsarno, the head coach of Bilbao Basket, he has been around for a while coaching. And would love to see this little bit of a different starting lineup get going for them. Well, good evening and welcome to Germany. The Niners taking on Cerné Bilbao here, second leg of the semifinals of this year's FIBA Euro Cup competition. As Bilbao winning the jump ball, I mentioned it if you're just tuning in, different starting lineup than they normally have gone with. They suffered a first semifinal loss last week, 73 to 98 at home. Now they've got a long way to go, but they've got 40 minutes to do it as that three-point shot is no good. So ball to the Niners. And how about Lansdowne last game? 22 points, 10 of 13 shooting. He was a handful all game long. And nice take, but a big time block there. By, I believe that was Hilnison. I mentioned it. He's going to have to have a big game, especially on the defensive end. And great job. So good defensive effort as Pansar from Sweden gets all the way to the basket on that move. And defense, another defensive stop. It's actually going to be called an offensive foul going against Lansdowne. So good job there by Pansar picking up full court and maybe frustrating Lansdowne a little bit. So ball back to Bilbao. And if you're just tuning in, they need to make up a lot of points. They lost 73 to 98 last week. And well, who is it attacking the basket? It's Pansar. And we saw him get the first two points of this game. But the foul's gonna be called on the ground, so it's gonna go side out of bounds. Easily get the ball inbounded. Pansar waits for the screen and kicks it up to Reyes. No good at that three point shot. And quick foul, slow down the speed there. The only person in this starting lineup for Bilbao who started last week is Alex Reyes. They're defending, comes up with the rebound, almost a steal, I believe. So clearly Coach was happy with what he did. He had seven points last game, averages just under four points a game on the season for them. Well, Pants are aggressive take. 
And the Niners wanted an offensive foul, but the referee says no. That's going to be a blocking foul going against Lockhart, I believe it is. Well, he's the one complaining, so I definitely think it was him. And the ref said, no, you got there. Slid under a little bit too late as Pansar was already in the air. So, nice start there in this game. Melvin Pansar, he's been averaging just under 10 points a game in this season's Euro Cup competition. As slow scoring game to begin with. All three make that four points in this game from that man, number 19, from Bilbao. Again, full court pressure. They said if you watch any uh, BBL games from Germany, and they know how to get up and down the court quickly. It's a really, really fun league to watch. And you see it when you see these German teams playing in competitions outside of their domestic league. As that shot's no good. Nice hustle for the offensive rebound is Uglak. And finds the shooter, and the shooter knocks it down. So good job there by Ongwe. They go inside of the big man. Big man taking his time. And he reseals. Nowhere to go, though. Almost throws it out of bounds. And what a tough, tough shot. As Bill Bow. Got a lot to play for. And oh, nice M1 is DeAndre Lansdowne. He gets all the way to the basket. And makes that basket. So he'll go to the free throw line for one shot. Possible three point play coming up. In the performance lands down last week 22 points averaging just under 15 points a game five assists a game in this year's euro cup good fight for the offensive rebound and they come up with it they got numbers as players are a little confused on the defensive end but didn't want to put up a quick shot is Garrett and that time he lets one go defense well defended though had a hand up and I mentioned how they get out and run nice block but no one coming back to help clean up the defensive boards for Bilbao now. Trying to get something going. As that shot at the buzzer, no good. Offensive rebound. Gets it back. Lets it fly. And that hits nothing but the back of the rim. And nice skip pass. After the double screen up top, the, that three-point shot is no good. I mentioned it, Niners, they know how to score, and they know how to score quickly. First in this competition in points per game, 92.7 points per game. They scored 98 points last week against Bilbao. Oh, 
Niners now. Both teams making some substitutions early in this first quarter. And tough, tough shot. And good job drawing the foul is Yoko, I believe. So he's going to go to the free throw line. Basket, Yebo misses, gets his own shot, and gets it off before the shot clock expires. So great hustle play there. And I mentioned Kevin Yebo. If you've seen him play all season long, he has to be in the running, at least considered an MVP candidate, especially in the BBL. As he draws a foul, not able to convert the layup. Uh, great job pushing the tempo there was Canadian. Has a Kajami Keen. Nice pass to the running big man as that ball rolls in and out. So Kevin Yebo with another trip to the free throw line. And that's going to be his fourth free throw attempt. And I talked about it at the beginning of the game. He had 17 points last week, but nine of those points came from the free throw game. And Bill Bao not able to really stop the big man who comes in off the bench for the Niners. Niners, they've got a two-point lead. The bow started. The Niners a while, actually, to get on the scoreboard. And since then, they've kind of uh, slowly crept back in this game as we see them up to now. They had a slow start last week as well. I mentioned it. Bill Bow had a 14-point lead. And that lead, they had, they had a good lead, 13-point lead, actually, after the, um, at the end of the first quarter. And they led at halftime as well by a couple points, but just were, did not have enough. We're not able to put together a 40-point game to pull off a win or at least try and keep the game close. They really had a hard time scoring in that second half. And <laughs> what a block. And obviously, you imagine the way that this uh, FIBA Euro Cup uh, competition goes. You know, we know it's a home and away situation so it's the you know at the end of these two games who scores the most oh great little blob action unfortunately no good is that little shot in the key and Niners with an opportunity to push the tempo they do push the tempo and there's a sweet shot there by the lefty and that is Wesley Van Beck We've had a great Europe Cup competition as well And that is going to be a foul going against Kajami Keen. Well, you imagine if uh, Bill Bao could play as well as they did in that first quarter, even the first half. You know, why can they not give themselves a chance to win here? So they need to score a lot of points. They need to make up some deficit that they experienced last weekend. And if you're Bill Bow, you got to push the tempo. You don't want to try to use a lot of shot clock because you need to have as many shot attempts as you can get as the shot clock winding down for Bill Bow. And that time they score. Where the Niners, on the other hand, this is a team that likes to push the tempo, get up and run. You know, they have a lot of possessions. And that's a turnover, though. 
as we have a two-on-one going the other way, and great strong move there. As Bilbao cutting into that lead. Well, he knocked one down earlier, but that three-point shot by Van Beck off the mark. And an offensive rebound, though. And a little floater, no good. The tip-in wasn't there, but they come back up with the offensive rebound. Penetration kick. And look at this patience. And <laughs> I think Yevo thought it was in as he started running back on defense maybe earlier than the play was. And strong take is going to be rewarded with a trip to the free throw line. And D. Ryder, he didn't play last week. He's been a big part of this team this year of cup competition. And making his presence known here in the second leg of the semifinals. Well, that one went off the back iron. Well, unfortunately goes 0-2 at the free, uh, free throw line, Belgian international. This will be an exciting player to watch moving forward in his career as well. And good defense leads to a turnover by the Niners, so ball back to Bilbao. to the baseline, to rider shot, back rim, Niners. Kind of had numbers, good job by Babel getting back, and three-point basket, it absolutely nothing but net for Kajami Keen. Babel. Renfro trying to get something going. He goes inside. And that shot, no good. As Niners, you seem like they are very much in control of this basketball game. They're making Bilbao have to take a lot of time off the shot clock. Another offensive rebound for the Niners. John McKean hit a shot in that corner last possession. But he says, no, nah, I'd rather pull it out and show you my range from 45. But that was no good. And how about that three-point basket? Well, they're not going away is Kulame. And penetration finds a diving cutter. So nice job there. By I believe it was Krubeli who was on the recipient of that assist by Kajami Keen. And Hornsby enjoying a trip to the free throw line. Bow has been limited to three offensive rebounds in this game compared to eight offensive rebounds already for the Niners. I mentioned it, they are seconds in rebounds per game at 40.3, so that's their offensive and defensive rebounds. They already have 15, and offensively, defensively, this team just knows how to get it done. Said it before the game started, they have not lost a game in this FIBA Europe Cup competition since January 24th. So they have been enjoying a winning streak 
that has definitely been a reason why they're playing in the semifinals. And nice little action roll by the big man, so an easy two-point basket. For the Niners. Well, pants are started well for Bill Bow. He had their first four points with attacking the basket. And that is a tough, tough shot. No good. Another rebound by the Niners. And I'm going to guess they're going to hold it for one shot. As there's about 12 seconds left in this first quarter. And good defense there by Bill Bow as that last shot goes off the back of the rim. So that is going to be the end of the first quarter. And, well, it started better for Bilbao. They are trailing on the road 21 to 18 after 10 minutes here in Chemnitz, Germany. As the Niners, like I mentioned, for me, if I'm going to look at the statistics, it's the offensive rebound. You're giving way too many opportunity Second chance points in eight offensive rebounds. Doing a good job sharing it. They're not shooting exceptionally well. They're eight of 20 in this game. Only two of eight from three point range. And if we take a quick look at the statistics of Bill Bow Basket, uh, three offensive rebounds compared to eight for the Niners. And five assists. They only turned the ball over twice, but they're shooting 37.5% in the game. And really, for me, it's the second chance opportunities that the Niners are getting right now. If you see down below the shooting percentages that I was just talking about. So, you know, neither team shooting exceptionally well or exceptionally bad. It's just that so far, the Niners have had more shot attempts in general. Um, as you see, Bill Bauer, 6 of 16 from the field compared to 8 of 20. And that's, you know, second chance opportunities either to score or to earn themselves a trip to the free throw line. So good job. Nice first quarter by the Niners especially, but both teams and like I said, though, Bilbao, they don't have a lot of time to waste. They got to start pulling away, putting consecutive stops along with baskets together if they want to move on in this year's FIBA Euro Cup, Europe Cup competition. Well, they got 30 more minutes to do it. There's a couple of substitutions by both teams. We saw Lance down back in the end of that first quarter. And Garrett gives it up. But he gets it back. I'm sure if that was an intended behind the back. Oh, what a fancy move by Wesley Van Beck. I believe it was. And not able to score, but the lefty is going to go to the free throw loop. Through, oh, free throw line. Check out this. He knew he was going to get fouled, and he wanted to make sure that the referee knew that it was a shot attempt. So, nice aggressiveness by him. Second quarter, Niners already on the board. And good job there by Panzer drawing the foul. Panzer gets it back after little weave action up top, his shot back iron, no good. Defensive rebound, kicks to Lansdowne, Lansdowne wants to slow it down, he wants a pick. 
He rejects the pick and says, I'm just going to take it all the way to the basket. So great body control there by DeAndre Lansdowne. 22 points the other week in Bilbao as that ball passed out of bounds. And he says, yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Garrett says, my bad, I should have caught that one. And good job, that's gonna count. So nice awareness, no help side defense there. And quickness. Who is uh, uh, number 77, Christian Hulame? Yeah, it is. So, Diner is not doing a great job on that last possession, seeing their man, but also the ball. Unfortunately, can't convert the three point play, but they come up with the offensive rebound, so I guess four points is better than three. <laughs> It is a slight three-point lead for the Niners over Bilbao. And fancy footwork gets Garrett all the way to the basket. A little Euro step as he kisses it off the glass. Go inside to the big man. And nice cut there by Panzer. Not going away. Oh! Well, talk about stuffing it home. <laughs> that was a big time dunk by Ubuak. A little floater, no good. So, rebound for the Niners. Lands down now. Is able to draw a foul. So I'm not sure they're going to call it a shooting foul. <laughs> How about that extension and reach by number one, Ugoak. Said. I don't know if they were going to call it a shooting foul, but I guess they are. As you see, lands down there on the free throw line. His first of two attempts. As that one rolls out. And misses the second as well. And almost a offensive rebound by the offensive player who was waiting outside the three-point line. So you gotta box out no matter where you are on the court, especially on the free throw line. Let's go battle, trying to get their sets run here. And it's gonna be an off-ball foul. So it's going to be Bilbao basketball on the sideline. As a couple of substitutions, checking in for the Niners. Ulame trying to get something going. He finds a shooter on the three point line. That kisses the front of the rim. Niners come up with a rebound and they get it to Lansdowne. Lansdowne now. Gets it back, kicks it up. Nice ball reversal and patience. Just can't hold on to the ball. Uh, it's not really a advantage, but that's going to be an offensive foul. So a great job there by Kaza Kajami Keen. Just setting his feet. How about that? Good job setting his feet before the offensive player took off and outside that semicircle. So easy call there by the referees. And that's called defensive effort. And 
and sacrificing your body for your team. So ball back to the Niners. Lansdowne's pass off the mark. It's a turnover. It's a three on two. No, make that three on three. We got five on four, excuse me. And nice take, no good, no foul. Might have been a block, actually. I'm sure they awarded that block to uh, Richter. Johnny Key running the show. He is left wide open, and that shot was well off the mark as he had all the time to shoot it. now the pick and roll action unselfish play is going to lead to a foul that was you see the heads up pass there by Anderson feeling the help side coming towards him and Renfro who drew the foul. Well, either way, foul, so ball on the baseline for Bill Bow as they get it in. Smith, a little fadeaway in the key, no good. Ball is tipped out as Bill Bow comes up with it. Oh, and then this miscommunication, the turnover leading to numbers, some um, fancy footwork, but a little bit too fancy as that's gonna be a travel going against Yebo. Yep. He lost the ball, took too many steps. So they'll bow, they're trailing by five. Halfway through the second quarter, mentioned it. They didn't start their typical starting five other than I believe it was Alex Riaz. And great hustle and staying with the ball for Bill Bow as two more points for them. Bow, another opportunity to cut into this lead and exactly what they do. It is a one point lead for the Niners and a timeout called after that last basket. As try and take a listen in if we can. And obviously Coach Pastore not too happy with the way his team has played the last few minutes of this second quarter. As that was a basket before the last by Dewey just staying with it for Bill Bow. He didn't play in their game last week either. And obviously not making an appearance here today is Kilea Jones uh, for Bill Bow. He's been a big part of their success this season. With 15 points last weekend, averages about 15 points a game six and a half rebounds more or less so obviously he is not suited up and talk about starting five and all of that obviously the seasons are long they're playing in a domestic league and they have a lot of
lot of games in the FIBA Euro Cup as well. So you see a lot of different starting uh, starting lineups change throughout the year, but there are definitely some players who are sort of consistently there, even if they miss a game every now and then. Well, out of the timeout, Bill Bow decides to go into his own, and the Niners make them pay with that three-point bucket from the corner. So their lead back up 2-5. We have four minutes to play in this first half. And strong take, miscommunication. He wanted his teammate in the corner. So turnover there by Smith. He gives the ball back to the Niners. Bill Bow definitely a lot better job rebounding on the defensive end in this second quarter. They gave up eight offensive rebounds in the first quarter. And so far, the Niners have not come up with a rebound, but you still have to guard players like Uguak as he just got all the way to the basket and was able to muscle in that two-point shot. Hornsby gives it up to Smith, and Smith with a big bucket of his own. Pick and roll action, no good. Nice defense, so opportunity again. And Smith says, I made one a little while back. Why not pull up uh, that one in and out? As Ugua comes up with the rebound, fancy behind the back. And nice strip, though, by Adam Smith on the defensive end. Well, Bill Bow not going away, but like I said, this is the second game of the semifinals. It's a home and away, and that three-point back bucket, no good. Big man there from Iceland, though, with the offensive rebound and put back. You know, they've got a lot of points they need to make up. And that shot, no good. 25 points to be exact. Because they're, so I guess you could say 27 points, but they're not going to do it with the quick hands of Kajami Keen leading to a wide open basket on the other end. And obviously you could talk about Bill Bow and some of the players that they are missing here tonight. Not even on the roster, actually. So, I said they kind of went with a different starting lineup to start this game than they had last week. And not sure if it was punishment or if it's just coaches' decisions. And almost a turnover, but they're able to save it. Shot clock now is winding down. Tommy Keen stops, and ooh, shot fake, got the defender off the ground, got the shot off, but it was no good. Smith goes inside, finds the rolling big, his shot in and out. Point basket. No good. So Bill Bow with a chance to take the lead for the first time since the first couple of baskets of this game. And they do with that three point shot by Adam Smith as he was trailing the action and no one there to pick him up. Well, there's about a two one second difference. Uguak tries to answer. He can't. It's a two-on-one. A couple seconds left. They have time. They take time. And they finish. So great way to finish the half by Bilbao Basket as they are up three now. 36 to 39. A couple possessions ago, they were trailing. And 
It's all about cutting into that lead as we are at halftime, 36-39. Bill Bow, they started the game on top and they finished the first half on top as they have a three-point lead. And they got a lot of points they still need to make up. They lost last week 73-98. to And, you know, maybe didn't shoot the ball exceptionally well. I think they did a great job, especially in that second quarter, keeping the Niners off the offensive rebounds as they did not allow any offensive rebounds in that last 10 minutes of the first half. So just a great, great job by them. And like I said, offensive rebounds just gives you more opportunities to score. And trust me, the Niners, with the way that they score, they don't need any more opportunities. So good job there coming in. D. Ritter, obviously off the bench. He has eight points for Bill Bow Basket. I thought Adam Smith as well, who got a start tonight for Bill Bow. He has seven points, hit that big three that gave them the lead late in that second quarter. Uh, Kuleme, he has seven points. Pansar, six points. Four of those points came early in the game. He was actually, him by himself, had four points, and no one else on either team had any other points as it was zero to four for Bill by Basket with a, a Pansar take to the basket and a couple free throws. So, nice little start for him as we look at the Niners. Well, some nice performances, and you know, I mentioned it before the game. They consistently have around five, six players who score in double digits. And, well, we have a lot of players who are on track to do that. Obviously, Jeff Garrett, five points. Uh, Kaza Kajami Keen, he has five points. Tyler Ongwe, he also has five points. And Uguak, with that thunderous dunk, has four points to go along with three boards for him. And lands down a couple strong takes to the basket for the starting point guard of the Niners. He has four points to go along with Usman Krubeli. So it is a three-point lead for Bill Bow Basket. And they got a lot more points to make up, but they finished on the right track. And hopefully that momentum can lead into the second half. Well, we will take a quick break and be back for more second half action after halftime. Thank you.
Welcome back, basketball fans. It is halftime here in Chemnitz, Germany, as the Niners trailing Bilbao Basket 36 to 39. And what a first half we had. You had saw Bilbao get out to a little bit of a lead the first few minutes, and then it was really all the Niners, except for those last few possessions, as Bilbao never really dug themselves a hole. They were always trailing one or two possessions and a couple big defensive plays to end the first half, and some nice offensive plays saw them take the lead as they are tr sorry, up three now to the home team, the Niners, and there you see the shooting percentages. 57% compared to 59% from two-point range. Neither team shooting the ball exceptionally well at three, 21% compared to 23%. So, slight advantage, and that's why it really is only a three-point game as you see the other major statistical categories. Niners, 22 rebounds, eight of those offensive in the first quarter. A uh, much better job by Bilbao Basket boxing out as they're leading in assists, 11 to eight, and turnovers, Niners with nine compared to just seven for Bilbao. As we see some of the top scorers, I talked about them just as we were heading into halftime and well there you see them Garrett Lansdowne and Kajami Keen and D. Ritter Hilneson uh, with the five boards there Van Beck six rebounds coming off the bench for the Niners so it's a close game and the score is evident of that well a win of any kind for the Niners would put them into the final of the FIBA Euro Cup competition. And Bill Bao, they got to make up some points, and they're doing it slowly. They lost last week at home, 73-98. to 98. So the Niners still leading. It is you play a home and away, and you take the score after uh, those those two games and the team with the higher score obviously moves on to the final so like I said Bill Bao they dug themselves a hole at home last week and now they got to figure out how to get out of that As in other semifinal action, Basa Sihir College, they won, so they have booked themselves a ticket to this year's final. And they obviously will be paying close attention to finding out who they're going to meet in the final. Uh, we are close to second half action underway here in Germany. As mentioned it, Bill Bao, no Kilea Jones, who is a big, big part of their team's success and helping them get this far. He is not suited up tonight. They went with a little bit of a different starting lineup. You saw Panzer start. And he had a nice little start. Adam Smith, he started as well. Neither of those players started last week. Well, second half action underway here in Germany. The Niners trailing Cerné Bilbao by three as Bilbao has the ball to start the second half. They go straight inside to the big man from Iceland as he draws a foul quickly. So quick first foul of this third quarter there for the Niners. Wow, they get it in. Almost turn it over, but they don't. And three point. Oh, I was going to say three point shot attempt, but it was just miscued. Clayson Hornsby probably should have put it up. As he 
his teammate was already heading towards the offensive rebound. And Hornsby wanted to pass him in the corner as Lansdowne now doing what he does best as that shot is no good. But guess what? An offensive rebound make that nine for them in this game. And nope, that's ten plus a putback. And for the team that scores the most in this year's FIBA Europe Cup competition, you cannot give them second or third opportunities because they will definitely make you pay as we saw on that last possession as they go inside to the big man. Single coverage, he kicks it out, and that three-point shot, no good. Hustle for the offensive rebound is the shooter, Melwin Pantsar, so good job chasing down his shot. And that time he gets all the way to the basket and draws a foul and has an opportunity for a three-point play. Pansar, he missed that three-point basket, but ran down his own shot and able to attack the basket after he corralled the ball, but no good on the three-point play. So the Niners now with a turnover. No good. For those of you just tuning in, it may be a little bit of a slower game um, in terms of the way that the Niners play in the first half. But like I said, no surprise. I can imagine that they would want to slow this game down because you you want to limit the amount of possessions you're going to give back to Bill Bow as you go into the second game of the semifinals with, with the lead, lead like you do have. You want to limit the amount of time that Bill Bow has the ball. Well, Wesley Van Beck with that big three-point bucket. Yeah, it's a nice little game he is having off the bench for the Niners. Bill Bow. Pansar. Gets it to Hornsby. Nice defense. He had nowhere to go. So great defensive possession there by the Niners. It is going to be called a shot clock violation by Bill Bow. Was not too happy. I think they probably thought, hey, you had a couple options to shoot the ball earlier. Why did you take so long? Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's at least the third offensive rebound in this quarter already. And Lansdowne shot no good. Well, this time came up with the rebound and I believe the foul is going to go. Against the Niners, and a holding foul there on that rebound. So you gotta box out and do whatever you can right now to keep the Niners off the boards. Backdoor cut, and the ball, I'm not sure if it was intended for him, but it ended up in Garrett's hands, so I don't know if we can call that an assist, um, but that's going to be three extra points for Garrett. He had a nice game last week, 14 points, 10 boards, double-double. He's kind of been a double-double machine. 
of uh, of this month of March. And Lansdowne was fouled, so he's going to get the ball back in the backcourt. Big man, extra pass to the corner, shot cock. Whoo! Goodness me. And it's gonna be a foul call. And let's take a look at this. It's not just the ele elevation, it's the extension by Ugwak. Well, referee said there was a foul on that, so two free throw opportunities coming up. Well, Bill Bowd, they were up three at halftime. And now they're trailing by two. And they're going to have to get hot. They're probably going to have to get hot, especially from the three-point line, which we have not seen all game long, really, by either team. Um, not shooting a very high, high percentage from three. Still respectable, but not incredibly high. And, you know, for Bilbao, I really think heading into this game, well, you got to come up with defensive stops and steals like that. As uh, a good job there. Uh, hands are. But you also kind of need to be hot if you need to make up around 25 points. In the first leg of this year's FIBA Euro Cup. As... Pants are looking over to the, the coach and saying, hey, no, go ahead and get a coach's challenge because I don't think that went off me. And, well, what I love is coaches with this new challenge that's been around for a couple years now, um, you know, a lot of times it's the players going over to their coach or looking at their coach and saying, no, 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 trust me, it didn't go off me. And, and coach is having trust in their players. So, well, we'll see. Um, the thing is, if the referees don't have a good camera angle, they have to go with their original call though. Well, referees try to find those different angles to tell who it went off of. And like I mentioned, if the referee can't see or have the correct angle, they have to go with their original call. Even if, for example, I don't know, after the video pops up and... every player on both sides pointing and saying no it was their ball and so ball goes to Niners and Bilbao not able to win that challenge and like I said I'm not sure if it was 
you know, if a Nobel player actually saw it, it was very hard for me to see on those replays like it really was for you. But they can't change their call if they cannot decisively overturn it with a coach's challenge. As uh, Niners with the ball. And penetration gets all the way to the basket is Van Beck. And he is an exciting player. Average is just under 15 a game for them. Look at this. Takes the contact. Able to get in front of his defender. And no help side there. As he goes all the way to the basket. Nice finish. And possible three-point play here. And knocks that shot down. So great job by Van Beck off the bench for the Niners as he is the first player in double digits for them. He has 10 points now. And I mentioned it. Ooh, nice take all the way down the lane is Adam Smith for Bill Bow. Niners typically have around five, six players in double digits every game. And, you know, no one really with around 20 points. But to have at least five players scoring in double digits. Oh! Goodness me! Get that shot out of here! And we've seen some spectacular dunks. And now we see it on the defensive end. Uguak. Well, we talked about watching some of his dunks. It's the elevation, but also the extension that he has. And you saw the extension there. As Bill Bow is going to be called for an over in the back. So turnover for them. Gives the ball back to the Niners. Gave up a shot, but it takes it hard to the basket is Richter. Thought it was open at three, but decides to attack the closeout. And strong, strong take and nice finish there by the German. Technical foul was called. I believe it's going against the coach. So yeah, so it's going to go against uh, Wame Ponsarno, the head coach of uh, Bilbao. And that's why we saw Kajami Keen go into the free throw line before Richter went to the line. He just missed his attempt. So, obviously, coach a little, maybe a little frustrated at his players, but also at the referees. And he wanted to back up his players, I guess. Well, Kajami Keen, no one there. He just curled the screen and was wide open for an easy layup. Great job by him in this game, coming off the bench. He's had a good season, typically comes off the bench for the Niners, and he's just kind of one of those all-around solid basketball players. You know you're going to get 110% energy on the defensive end, on the offensive end. I believe he's leading his team in assists this season, just under six assists per game, almost 10 points a game, and he's just a solid person who you can rely on game in, game out, who will give you the same energy intensity every possession he is on the court. That's one of those players, too, that you're sure, you know, he obviously played for Canada a little bit as well, so you know, to play and represent Canada at some, uh, at some of their tournaments, uh, especially their qualification tournaments for Euro Cup and things like that, you know, he's a hard-working player, and, and it's good, you know, to watch him had success and be appreciated for the kind of player that he is. As he's running the point here, gets it up to Richter, gets it back. And Yebu 
Yebo, excuse me, has a mismatch. They can't get it to him though. And Richter though says, don't worry about it. I will put things into my own hands as he takes his time. Little spin move in the key, nice little finish. And a nice two point bucket there by Kulame. I mentioned it, kind of a, a low-scoring game for the Niners. They scored 98 points last week. They have averaged 92.7 points per game in this FIBA Europe Cup competition this year. They are the first in points per game. As that's going to be a turnover going against Phil Bao. And Richter now is going to pull it down, slow it down. But Kajami Keen gets his picket box. And now... Well, I, I'm going to say that I think D. Ritter, number 11, wanted a foul, but it was not called. And no worries, because Alex Reyes was there following the play and comes up with the defensive board and draws a foul on his putback attempt. Anderson, who drew that foul with the effort he gave on the offensive rebounding glass during that last free throw, he gets the second one to go down. As the Niners now, they go inside. And good defense, nice defensive board as well by Bill Bow. Bill Bow trying to push the tempo a little bit here. They're trailing one. And no good, it's going to be a turnover as the Niners with an opportunity. Oh no, that's going to be a couple turnovers in a row now. And no call on that dunk attempt. There's a long rebound, the ball pops out actually. And Niners now are going to slow it down. I want to get a good look. There's a little bit back and forth the last few possessions as King gets all the way to the basket and that shot just rolls in for him. Well, Bill Bow, a couple missed opportunities offensively and that three-point shot rolls in and out. game Keen has had that shot well off the mark and Bill Bow has numbers and it's going to be I believe it's going to be a blocking foul this time we saw in the first half Keen with his defensive uh, Kajami Keen excuse me with his defensive effort was able to draw a charge and that time though the referee says no you did not get your feet set in time A 
Well, they were up three at half. They are trailing by one now. There is, might get the ball back, 29 seconds remaining in this first, uh, third quarter, excuse me. down that free throw. And Niners want to use as much of the shot clock as they can. There's around a five second shot clock, game clock differential. Keen, oh, backdoor cut, nice pass inside and almost comes up with a steal, but good job staying with it. And look at this defense, though. And that's going to count if it goes in. It doesn't go in, but, well, great way to finish the third quarter are the Niners as Bill Bow, their chances and opportunity of playing in this year's final uh, finals is dwindling. They got 10 minutes left. They are down 12 in this game. That means they are down big, big time as they lost by 25 points last week. So they are making things a lot difficult as time is slowly running out. They trail by two after 30 minutes of play. have been playing as a tempo as I have seen them play all season long and I think that's for good reason and you know obviously they might have the opportunity to also rest some players uh, I'm not sure Lonestown got many minutes there it is the third quarter we'll take a quick look at statistics for you uh, Jeff Garrett 8 points uh, Kaza Kajami Keen 10 points to go along with four assists. We have Googly, eight points and five points. Paul uh, Way, a quiet night for him. Five points, four boards. And let's not forget Wesley Van Beck off the bench. He has 10 points already. So, well, I mentioned it. <laughs> Yandre Lansdowne didn't play a lot, and there he is right there getting the start in this fourth quarter and we'll take a quick look at some of the bow stats uh d ritter who didn't play last week he has eight points to go along with four boards and Kumabe, nine points pansar he's had a nice game for them ten points and let's not forget i think adam smith has played some big minutes for bill bow as well well mention it they got a lot of points to make up and never throw the towel in if you're a competitor but it is definitely getting harder and harder especially if you are a Bilbao basketball fan and not maybe the season that everyone expected uh, when you saw the roster at the beginning of the season and when this competition started you know they 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 started the competition relatively well their three losses in in this competition have come up later in the year, uh, season and obviously I think they're probably a little bit disappointed with their performance in the Spanish ACB as they're right now sitting at four games out of playoff contentions. So ball to Bilbao and if you're a competitor and you're a basketball player 
and maybe you're getting some extra minutes that you normally don't get uh, because coach is going to the bench. You don't see the likes of uh, Kalea Jones uh, playing for Bill Bow tonight. You know, you definitely want to come in and perform, and, uh, you know, you're nearing the end of this 2023-24 season, and you know, maybe you're playing for a contract next year. Maybe you're playing for a contract in a different team. And a good performance here tonight will definitely speak volumes for the end of the season, but also moving on as uh, that shot off the mark, I believe it was one speed. And foul, moving screen foul, goes against the Niners. And probably not too happy with that call. I love how the fans are still all standing, though. And a lot of these uh, games you watch in the BBL, the German Basketball League, uh, you know, maybe the stadiums aren't as big as we see in Bilbao or in, you know, a lot of the ACB teams in Spain. But they get good crowds. They're excited. They're motivated. They're cheering on their teams. Well, maybe they only seat around five, five to 8,000, but it's a good size, and they get good support. And it, it feels a lot bigger. Uh, because the gym is packed. Dancing ball handling there. Ooh, step back. Three point shot is well off the mark, and that ball lands into the hands of Garrett. Niners. Van Beck. Ooh, pass fake. Jeff Garrett. Well, I thought he was going to pass in the corner, but he says, no, nope, I got it for me. No worries. Well, it's back up to a three-point lead. And that's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul going against Bill Bow, the number 11 for Ritter. And both teams getting a little bit heated now. As not sure what was said. Obviously, uh, Jeff Garrett, number two from the Niners, you see him there on your screen. Uh, he's not excited, maybe, what was said. Well, here, here it is. And the referee says... Number 11, De Ritter held him, and it's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul, but it was the exchange after that the referees might be talking about as both players got a little bit heated and in each other's personal space, I would say. I don't think anything incredibly aggressive, but obviously the referees need to talk about it, and... Calm the players down a little bit. So, well, we see the Niners huddling right now, and the referees are huddling behind them, as I'm sure they're kind of discussing. So here it is. Well, obviously some heated words. I, I don't know what was said. Not sure if I could tell you what was said, even if I did hear it. Um, by, by number 11, the Ritter of Bilbao. And then you saw the reaction of number two, Jeff Garrett from the Niners go up and push him. So unfortunately it was just, you know, heated action. And I'm sure Garrett was not very appreciative of whatever was said and that was his reaction. So the referees, obviously are in control of this game and they are going to take their time and decide the best course of action, I guess you could say punishment, as we already know there's an unsportsmanlike foul called and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a technical foul called as well. technical foul 
going against number two from the Niners, the man at the free throw line right now, Jeff Garrett. And now he is shooting his unsportsmanlike foul free throws. So a technical obviously is just one free throw, and an unsportsmanlike foul is two free throws and the ball. As well, not able to convert those two free throws. He goes 0 of 2 on that foul. And it is going to be Niner Ball. Lands down. Gets it to Garrett. Garrett's dribble a little bit out of control, but it went off Bill Bow. So he's going to get the ball back. Clock at five and Yebo. No good. Good help side there. Game is getting a little bit chippy here. And maybe a little bit of frustration. Uh, both teams obviously. Bill Bow, you can definitely say, in, you saw it in the second half of their game the other week, that they looked disappointed and they were getting frustrated with the way that they were playing. And, and Niners, you know, really doing whatever they wanted to in the second half, especially of that game last week. And the fans not too happy with how the referees are starting to call this game. been exceptionally good off the bench. We didn't see him last week. Not sure if he was injured or what was going on. Uh, he didn't play in the first leg. And I mentioned it. Obviously, someone, if you're a Belgian basketball fan, you've got to be excited knowing that this young man is probably going to be around in the national team program for a while as well. As that ball goes out of bounds. Well, we got six minutes and 35 seconds. It is a tie game here. But unfortunately, no bow. They're trailing by a lot. And when I say they got to get hot, they got to get really hot from three if they want to move on to the finals of this competition and players really falling everywhere the last little while. Uh, it's going to be a timeout called by the Niners and more than anything I think maybe coach uh, Pastore just wants to kind of calm his team down and wants them you know to play like they have all season long and not lose their cool and not lose their heads. Well, let's see what coach drew up after that timeout for the Niners as they're already back on the court waiting for Bill Bow to join them. And 
mentioned it. The fans are great. Has they've been standing this entire game. A little full court pressure here. Back into a 2-3 zone out of this timeout by the Niners is Bill Bow. And I was going to say almost a turnover, but no, the referee said it was a reach and foul instead. It's been a quiet day for him. Uh, gets all the way to the, ba uh, to the basket and almost loses the ball, but it goes in. So nice job there. Nice control. Picking that ball back up is Keith wants to be five points. Hasn't had a good shooting night. Someone you kind of expect to average, you know, in double digits for you if you are a bit He's only one of seven in this game. Well, Bill Bow, three-point lead, and right now you're just kind of thinking if they if they can pull off a win, um, won't obviously be an upset, uh, but it will still count in the win column, even though they will not be moving on, as that three-point shot is good, and uh, I believe it's Wesley Van Beck, very slow to get up after he fell on that last defensive possession for the Niners, and lands down. Well, he was slow to get up, and that shot off the back of the iron, but he's going to sacrifice his body for his offensive rebound. He gets it back. This time he penetrates, and he draws a foul. And I wouldn't be surprised here, maybe, if we see a coach uh, Rodrigo Pastore for the Niners possibly go to his bench and, you know, give some of these players who do play significant bigger minutes in in a player like uh, uh, Van Beck also with how slow he did get up he has 12 points here today let's go along with eight boards so nice little performance there by him with the substitutions that I saw just happen for the Niners. And it's also a good opportunity for some other guys to show what they can do in four and a half minutes. As we see that shot go in by Ongwe for the Niners. Well, make that, I believe it was two in a row now for Hornsby, and I mentioned he's kind of had a slow night, and you sort of expect him to at least score in double digits for you, as he was 1 of 7, I'm going to say, before those two shots just rattled him for 3. As he is now 3 of 9, so he's come alive. Six points in the last about 40 seconds for uh, number 3, Keith Hornsby. And Bill Bow, as he brought the ball over the court and handed it off to Pansar. And a reach and foul is going to go against Tyler Ongwe, the Kenyan international player. A nice season for the Niners as well. As you see, the Ritter, the Belgian international, checking out for Bilbao. And nice little game for him today, especially considering he didn't play last week. And the 
Val pushing their lead up to seven with that made free throw. There's three minutes and 33 seconds left as Pansar comes out. And do I think they're going to pull the offset? Not quite sure. We need the likes of a Reggie Miller and what he's been able to do in some games. All the NBA, obviously. You, you remember his epic game where how many points it was and how many seconds, but it was pretty incredible. As the bow almost turns it over, but they're going to get the ball back. Um, you know, right now, is it maybe a moral victory? Is it a victory over a good Niners team to help, you know, motivate you and boost you at the end of the your ACB season? Because obviously it's still a few games left in that and then hopefully the playoffs even though I mentioned earlier there are a few games outside of playoff contention as that shot is well off and the Niners come up with a rebound and I just love the story about the Niners I mean 2019-2020 season they were able to get a ticket to move up to the first division. They have been playing the second division for a very, very long time. And they moved up, and in just four years' time, they are playing in a final of the FIBA Europe Cup, but they are also second in the BBL. And it's a good league. I mean, you're playing, you know, you're second. You're only one game behind Bayern, who... Uh, EuroLeague have been EuroLeague for many, many years, so clearly the organization, the, the staff, the people behind the scene, maybe the president, the, the owner, uh, have just done great things with this club in Eastern Germany, so it's great to see uh, the success, and it is very well-deserved. Like I said, I think uh, Rodrigo uh, Pastore, the coach from Argentina, uh, maybe a little bit unknown, but... He for sure has made a name for himself in Germany, very well respected in Germany. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised after this year's performance he he has had with this team that, you know, he might have some other opportunities, maybe bigger clubs as well, even though, you know, you'd love to see him continue to, to coach the Snyder's team. He's done a great, great job. I also like their, their recruitment. There's no selfish guys. They share the ball. They're all happy to share the ball. As at the buzzer is Kajami Keen. And nice game. Oh, look at that defensive hustle. The inbounds pass was no good. Uh, Kajami Keen knocked down the last two point buzzer, comes up with a steal, and his teammate not able to knock down that three point shot. And ball is going to be a rebounding foul. I believe that was going against Lockhart, I guess. Sorry, I don't think anyone is lined up. I don't think anyone is lined up on the. Uh... Oh, there you go. Almost looked like a technical at first because it was on the free throw line, but both teams wanted to hunt a little bit. Uh, it's nine point lead for the bow, so. You know, good job here. They were kind of back and forth all game long, and then the last couple minutes of this quarter, they've sort of put together a string of defensive stops and some scores on the other end. Obviously, two big threes by Hornsby helped uh, bolster and their their lead and a nice defensive stop. Like I mentioned, it they've strung together a few defensive stops and are scoring on the other end, so great job. Well, no good on the layup, need the offensive rebound, and Kula May not able to score that shot, so they gotta go back down, play defense. Like I said, maybe this will just be a moral victory, more for Bill Bow. Patience here by the Niners leads to an open three. No good. Offensive rebound. And they're just going to use as much clock, I think, as possible. Kajami Keen almost slips. 
Instead gets a shot off. No good. So Bilbao, they're going to have a couple more offensive possessions if they want. And no need to foul, though. If you are Kajami Keen and, well, Pansar, he started the game by going strong to the basket. And he is finishing the game going strong to the basket for Bilbao. And a great little game he has had. Rempro come out and talk to the coach there. Well, definitely a nice game by that man. Nolan Pansar from Sweden. So, semi full court pressure by Bilbao. Obviously, the Niners using as much of the shot clock as possible. They're going to have to put a shot up, though, and Bilbao will get one more touch. They're up by 12. Probably not going to be enough. Well, Bill Bow doesn't have a coaching challenge left anymore. But they don't need to do a coaching challenge if the referees don't agree with each other. I think the referees two minutes left in a game can also go and well like I was gonna say they can check the, the video but they talked about it and said yes you're right it should be Bilbao ball so there's 15 seconds left in this game shot clocks turned off Bilbao will get one more opportunity well not if they turn it over and turn it over they did Niners no need to shoot or score and well they're gonna let it fly they didn't necessarily need to, but hey, you gotta finish the game. You gotta finish the game strong. If you don't, they're gonna shoot on you. So that was Tyler Ongwe who knocked down that three point basket at the end. And guess what, fans of the Niners, they are moving on to the finals of this year's FIBA Europe Cup competition. They're, they lost tonight 73 82 to Bilbao Basket, but they won by so much last week that. Really, you didn't know how Bilbao were ever going to make up a 25-point deficit. And Niners just need to control the tempo, not let get things out of hand. And that's exactly what they did for about three quarters, three and a half quarters. And Bilbao, with a little bit better fourth quarter, we see them took the lead. So they were outscored, the Niners, 14-25 to 25 in that fourth quarter, like I mentioned. And that's why we see them finish with a slight nine-point lead. But Chemnitz Niners heading to the FIBA Euro Cup Finals. And what a story they are writing this season. And it is great to see Bilbao not the way they wanted to end, obviously going home. But now they will be able to focus on the Spanish ACB and finishing off that season strong as the Niners are going to continue. And I really, I absolutely love the story. Four years ago, this team was playing in the second division, and it's absolutely incredible to see them now playing in the finals of the FIBA Euro Cup. And it'll be the same kind of format that we have seen in the semifinals, a home and away situation. So I think if you're ever playing at home in Chemnitz, Germany, you know you always have a chance to win. And Bill Bow, they're gonna have to go and maybe figure some things out as a team as we see the statistics. And the Niners did not shoot 6% or 116 free throws, don't worry, but the rest of the statistics were very much correct. Um, the Niners were 8 of 16, so they shot 50%, not a great shooting percentage from free throw line. Obviously, uh, Kaza Kajami Keen, big game for him. Uh, off the bench, 12 points, 5 assists. Uh, let's not forget Usman Kubali, 10 points, 5 boards. What about Tyler Ongwe? He had that 3 right at the end to give himself 10 points and 5 boards. Jeff Garrett, 11 points, 7 rebounds. And the other player for the Niners was Wesley Bembeck, 12 points and 8 boards tonight for that man. As Bill Bow goes, 
we had Hildeson, the Iceland International, 10 points, 7 rebounds. Hornsby he came alive late in the game, finished with 11 points, and Kulame, 14 points. Panzer, great game all around for him, 15 points. And G. Ritter off the bench, who didn't play last game, finished with double figures of 10 points as well. So the Niners moving on to this year's FIBA Euro Cup, Euro Cup competition, and you see it. The fans are happy. The players, I'm sure, excited, even if they're, you know, trying to act a little stoic. But it is a very, very big deal for the club and for a lot of these men as well. And well, that's us to here. They clinched their spot to the finals about an hour before our game ended, and they are going to beat the Niners. And that was the road to the final of FIBA Euro Cup this year. And it has been a great Euro Cup so far. And I imagine, you know, the Niners, I talked about it, they're first in scoring. The team who's second is Baja Sahisti here College. So it is going to be a high-flying, exciting game as you see the results of the semifinals. And the finals, just like the semifinals, will be a home and away competition as well. And the team with the most points at the end of those two games will be hoisting the trophy. From myself and FIBA, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. And we will be back in the next couple weeks with some even more exciting FIBA Europe Cup competitions with Niners obviously moving on. As well, you can stick around and watch the game highlights if you want. But from myself and the FIBA Europe Cup, thank you for tuning in. And we will see you in a couple weeks for even more FIBA Europe Cup action.